Hello and welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. Thank you for joining me. I must first of all thank all those that uh, send in messages of encouragement and uh, additional information. I do read them all and I do try to respond to as many as I can. I can't respond to uh, everyone. Of course there are some regulars there but I thank you for watching this video channel and uh, for your support and if you haven't already done so please press the subscribe button on the bottom right there and uh, you'll be alerted for up and coming videos. Now it's great to find that conditions are improving. In fact I was listening this morning to some VK signals coming through on 20 meters which is a little bit new really because in the last two or three years conditions have been pretty awful. So conditions are improving and we know why conditions are improving because we've got the new sunspot cycle. What it's going to be like in the next two or three years, um, who knows, but we can only hope that it will be a good sunspot cycle. But the one thing that is for sure, conditions will gradually improve and I've been working stations on 15 metres and on 10 metres. And although I haven't actually worked any uh, uh, American stations on 10 metres, I understand that it has been open occasionally to the USA. So that's good news. One of the things that we have to put up with, of course, around the world now is noise. And there is a growing interest now in getting out portable. And one of the portable radios that we've recently introduced uh, at our company, Waters and Stanton, is the new Lab 599 Discovery TX500. TX500 being the, <laughs> the model number of the radio. It's certainly got a lot of attention and we have had some amazing sales of that particular radio which i think underlines the fact that it offers an awful lot for those that want to get out portable now i've done a couple of videos on the tx599 but i thought i'd do oh I'm sorry i've done a couple of videos on the tx500 um, but i thought it would be good to update you well, the tx500 is made by Lab 599 in Russia and I think it's pretty well known there now that it's a very rugged radio. It's highly compact. Uh, the thickness of the case is only three centimeters. You can put it out in the rain and it will not uh, be uh, affected at all and in fact I've done a video showing it uh, uh, in the rain and it gives 10 watts out with a very meager current drain. So before we go any further, let me just show you or just remind you of the TX500. I've done a little uh, uh, one minute video here showing you basically around the radio. I have to apologise, there's a bit of dust on the radio. <laughs> the reason there's a bit of dust on it is because I've used it an awful lot and I should have dusted it before I did the video. But anyway, I didn't dust it, the video's done. And I'm sure that you're more interested in the radio than the little bits of dust you see on it. So let's just take a look at the TX500 and uh, get a feel for the, the radio, the size of it and uh, what it looks like. Well, there we are, <laughs> a little bit of twee music in the background, which uh, I did in the studio here and which uh, 
I'm sure won't actually get into the charts. There we are. So back to the TX500, the Discovery transceiver from Lab 599. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, we have sold a lot of these radios and at the current time, we're waiting for new stock to come in. I'm shooting this video in October and we are hoping that they will ship some more to us uh, in uh, about four or five weeks time. In other words, uh, uh, middle to late November. So hopefully, if you haven't got one of these transceivers at the moment, hopefully we might be able to deliver one to you before Christmas. We've had uh, 75 pieces so far, they've all sold, and uh, everybody's been absolutely delighted with them. By the way, if you're a member of the RSGB, Radcom have just done a review on the TX500, which is very interesting reading. If you look at the uh, front cover, you'll see there's a picture of it on the front cover, and inside is a uh, four page review of the transceiver. Well worth reading. Now, since I, I shot the original video or a couple of videos on this transceiver, they've had some upgrades and it's very easy to upgrade the uh, transceiver. You plug the supplied lead into the side of the transceiver and on the other end of that lead is a USB connector which goes straight into your Windows PC. Now it is Windows um, based, the uh, uh, upgrade software. Um, I haven't upgraded my own because I haven't got a Windows computer at the moment. Um, I'm totally Apple, so I need to um, get somebody to uh, plug it into that computer to upgrade it. But I will show you on the screen here um, one of the features, which of course um, is very uh, welcome. It's the, the VSWR graph. It's like having a little antenna analyzer. Well, at least it shows you what the VSWR is. But it's very handy if you're out portable just to press the button and be able to see the VSWR. So you can see on the screen um, what is uh, what you'll see on the uh, transceiver. Now there are some other improvements as well. The AGC has been improved. There's uh, some memory uh, improvements as well. And if you go onto the uh, website, you'll see the list of improvements. In fact, it's worth going onto the website. Just type in Lab 599. It'll take you straight into the website. Click on download, and you can actually look at the manual, the user manual, which is very interesting, very well laid out. So if you're thinking of uh, buying a Discovery 500, uh, sorry, get the, number, get the name right. If you're thinking of bu uh, buying a, a Discovery TX 500, then go onto the website and just download the manual. As I say, it's very well written and uh, it'll give you um, a big insight into uh, all the other features of the transceiver. So, what about a battery? Well, a battery is certainly in the pipeline. I don't think we're going to see it uh, this side of Christmas, but I have got a couple of shots um, I'll put up on the screen now. Now, these are what we think the battery is going to look like, uh, but it'll give you give you some idea. It, it's a thin profile battery, uh, the same as the radio, and I'll put a couple of uh, shots up on the screen here. Now the first shot you can see is the battery itself, and the second shot, which I'll put up now, is the battery on the back of the radio. So that'll give you some idea of what the battery is going to look like. But as I say, we've got no price, and we don't have the final details, and we don't believe we'll see it this side of Christmas, but it will be coming. There's another bit of good news for those that either own a Discovery TX500 or are thinking of buying one, and that is the introduction of an amplifier. Now, this amplifier is not actually made by Lab 599, it uh, comes from a German, German manufacturer. It's a very well engineered piece of equipment. And we are just at the moment uh, playing with a sample, but I'll put some details on the screen in a moment so you can have a look at it. The good thing about this is again, it is built in the style of the TX500. It's a very rugged um, machined cast uh, case and it will produce 60 watts output for just 5 watts of drive. Not only does it produce 60 watts of output, it does it very efficiently. 
The full 60 watts output only draws 7.5 amps from your 13.8 volt supply. So that makes it very efficient. It's quite compact. It's roughly the same size as the uh, TX500. I think maybe a little bit thicker, but it's certainly um, a very welcome addition. And the other good news, the really good news, is that it has a built-in antenna tuning unit. Yeah, it's got a built-in antenna tuning unit, which means to say that you could go out portable and provided you can draw something like seven and a half amps from your power supply, you've got a 60 watt radio with a built-in antenna tuner, which will answer a lot of people's requests really for you know a lot of people that have these um, or want to go out portable they want an antenna tuner well the good news is this antenna tuner unit will be built inside the amplifier so I'll put up on the screen here um, a basic picture I'm sure it's not it's not a very good picture uh, we will have some better shots uh, later on but um, uh, I'll put a picture up here and you can see basic concepts of this amplifier. Now, as regards delivery, I can't give you a firm date at the moment. It looks as if we will be doing the final assembly in Portsmouth, and it looks as if we may be able to deliver sometime in December. It could be a bit earlier, but I can't give you any details at the moment, except that it will be coming it looks a very attractive um, item and we are taking forward orders. Now I have to tell you that we've already got forward orders. Um, we're not sure what the flow of product for this amplifier will be, how, how quickly we'll get it and how many we'll get at a time. And as I say, we will probably be doing the final assembly in Portsmouth. So you may have to be patient, but if you are interested in one of these, you can go into our website and you can place your order. And it's, 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 a, it's a very um, competitively priced um, uh, amplifier. Check on our uh, website. And it's called, by the way, the PA500, Papa Alpha 500. Perhaps I should have called it the PA600 or something like that, or the PA60. Anyway, it's called the PA500, and, and it's a perfect match for the Discovery TX500. And one more bit of information is that we believe it will work quite happily with the ICOM IC705, and therefore I would expect it to work quite happily with the Ellicraft KX2 and the KX3. Now, I haven't tried these uh, these these combinations yet. Uh, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work, but hold far on that one. But that is my understanding, and hopefully I should be right. So. There we are, that's the latest on the Discovery TX500, been very popular radio, um, very reliable, and everybody that's uh, had one has been delighted. Don't forget, of course, that down at Portsmouth, we can also supply other equipment. In fact, we've got the largest ham radio warehouse in the UK, and we've got a wide range of products there. If you've got any uh, questions about uh, whether this product will be suitable for you, you can pick up the phone, you can go on our website and place the order. And not only do we supply the equipment, but we also give a good backup service, which counts for a lot. We're not just box shifters. Anyway, as always, enjoy your hand radio. Take care. Speak soon.